Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission as it's time now for part one of our 10 questions with Eagles defenseman Zach Bigger. Zach, the same one I ask all the guys to start off. Who's your favorite NHL team? To be honest, Patty, I don't really have a favorite team. I just like watching a good game. When I was growing up, I used to like the Habs, and I liked Crosby and the Pens, but I've grown up now, so I'm at the point where I'm not a hardcore fan for a team to win the Cup. I just like watching a real good game between two good teams. So you cheer for whoever's trailing in the game then, so it gets more exciting? <laughs> That's actually right. I do love the underdog stories. When you were growing up, I'm sure you dreamed about being a hockey player, and obviously that dream is still alive and well, but was there anything else you dreamed about what you'd want to do if you couldn't play hockey? I used to be really into harness racing, actually. We used to have horses, so it was either being a hockey player or I was going to own horses. I don't know if that's still on the table for Plan B yet. When I was younger, that's what I loved to do. Interesting, because I was talking to Jude Campbell. He talked about horse racing as well. It might be more popular than people think. Nick McNeil's a horse racing guy, too, so I guess it runs through our team. Yeah, there's a lot of that in the <laughs> island, so... What is your favorite school subject? I would say I'm a math guy. Math or geography, one of those two. The first answer there is common, the second one not so much. Any particular regions that you find interesting, geographically speaking? I don't know, I'm just really good with the maps and stuff like that. I find with the locations and areas, I seem to know a lot of that stuff, and it kind of interests me, you know, what's going on in different places in the world and how it works. And I guess, too, being a hockey player, there is a bit of a natural tie in there because you're traveling to different places to play. All your time playing hockey, who would be the toughest forward you've had to try to stop? Can be in practice or in a game. I'm going to say, I was at the U17s, I'd say Logan Stan Coburn, I think. I remember back then he was so fast, and he still is now. You watch him at the World Juniors. So I remember playing against him. It's pretty intimidating going on the ice against a guy like that. No doubt about that. He's uh, having quite the season this year in the WHL, and obviously you mentioned the World Juniors as well. If Zach could have any pet other than a cat or a dog, what type of pet would he like to have? I'm going to go with a polar bear. Big polar bear. They're nice and fuzzy. They're furry. They weren't so scary. They're pretty nice to <laughs> chill with on the couch or something. I can't remember how I ended up there, but I was watching a video the other day on YouTube of somebody feeding a bear out their window. <laughs> They're very uh, nice-looking animals. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. This could be any level, Q or before. What is your favorite rink to play at? I think it's the Scotiabank Center, I think, in Halifax. I think that's what it's called. They always have uh, pretty sweet crowds, and it feels like you're in a mini NHL rink when you're playing there. And you got the fans singing old Canada pregame, so it's, it's a pretty cool feeling. You'll appreciate it even more playing there as an Eagle. It's always good atmosphere for Eagles Mooseheads games, there's no doubt about that. And, of course, that rink's in the national spotlight with the World Juniors as well. What is the last time, if it's ever happened, that Zach Bigger went camping? I went to uh, the Cavendish Beach Music Festival this summer, and we camped the whole weekend, so it wasn't too long ago, actually. You were probably one of thousands. Yeah, it was pretty packed. Don't oh. worry. It's a pretty high demand to get a campsite that weekend. You're a PEI guy. Were you actually in the minority being a PEI guy camping? Were most of the people from out of town at the campgrounds? That's a mixture. It's in Cavendish, and not too many people are living in that area sure. for the whole year. So a lot of people just decide to make the trip down and stay, so it's a lot more convenient. Has Zach ever been to an NHL game? If so, what can you tell me about the first one you ever went to? So when I was in Blainville this year, we decided we go to a few NHL games. We're only half hour outside. I think we made it to three. The first one was a preseason one against the Leafs. So I got to see Matthews and Marner and all those guys. It was pretty cool. And the second and third one are a lot cooler, actually. The second one was Montreal against Philly. And it was the game. Cole Caulfield scored the tying goal with point one, one point oh. two seconds left, something like that. Yeah. It was pretty electric in there, that game. So that one was pretty cool. The third one was against Calgary, and they ended up winning in a shootout. And it was crazy when they won. We were in the lower bowl for that game. Right in the action, it was a pretty cool experience to watch a game in the Bell Center with all the history that's been through there. There you go. If somebody goes to an NHL game with you, they know they're probably going to see a good one. <laughs> I always have to ask the Island boys this. What's the best ice cream flavor of cows? I get the Messy Bessie. That's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Messy Bessie. Every time I've asked that question, I've always got an enthusiastic answer. Yeah, you can't mess with cows. <laughs> this is the last question for part one, and I don't think cows is going to be the answer. If it is, I'll be very surprised. What is the last thing you bought before this interview? I'm going to say probably chocolate milk. It's still a dairy product. Keeping that theme <laughs> exactly. going. Good. Exactly. Exactly. Good thing to have after practice, too. That is all for part one of our 10 questions with Eagles defenseman Zach Bigger. You're listening to the intermission of Cape Breton Credit Union, Eagles Hockey, 1270, CJCD.